Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannet Reviews. Today we're checking out a 2014 Boston Whaler 250 Outrage that was on display at the Daytona Beach Boat Show earlier this year. This one's actually been sold since I filmed it, but I thought I'd still share it with you on the channel. That way you get an insight of what this boat's like. And also it gives people an idea of what sort of value for money you get and what sort of budget you need when shopping for something like this. At the boat show, this one was on offer for 109695 and that included the trailer. She's equipped for both inshore and offshore fishing. For offshore, she's got a pair of 200 horse Mercury outboards. But you see, she's also got a 15 inch talon pole on the transom as well. I like the solid handholds that were in place for the boarding ladder, especially if you're into swimming and diving. And on this one, you'll notice there's rod holders everywhere. You got them on the transom, you got them on the side decks, you got them on the T-top, and you've also got them underneath the gunnels. That T-top gives great protection from the element, but it's also got spotlights and it's even got outriggers, which I'll show you in a second. I like the use of the pop-out seats on the aft deck. Gives you seating when you've got friends and family on board, but to easily fold up and give you more space whenever you're fishing. This one's got a very well equipped live well built into the bait station. And I like the central location for this one. So whether you're fishing off the side or you're fishing off the aft deck, you've got plenty of access to it. And if you notice on the deck itself, there's a ton of storage compartments. Some of these are for storage in general, but some of these are also going to be used for fish holds. The larger storage areas and fish holds on either side, these have got like a refrigeration, it's like a cool box type thing. And you could easily fill this full of ice and it would keep your fish fresh if you come back in short to land your catch. And these ones in particular are self-draining so you don't need to worry about that ice melting and causing any problems. It's also easier for rinsing out and cleaning whenever it's not in use. This one had a very well equipped helm station. You've got seating for two here and it does have bolster effect so you can sit down or stand up. You got a Garmin GPS 7612 multifunction display. There's also a Garmin VHF 200. You got a Fusion stereo system with Bluetooth connection and there's speakers throughout the boat. And I love how solid a T top was with how much hand holds there were, especially if you were planning on taking this one offshore. And then, as I mentioned earlier, this one does have outriggers installed. And I like how close they were to the helm so they're easy to manage and maintain while you're underway. And again, especially if you were planning on going offshore, I like the fact that there's the windshield effect to this T-top. That way you don't need to worry about the elements coming through. You also don't have to pull back on those throttles to beat the wind in the rain. I also like the fact that as much as I don't have any issues with the equipment that's installed here, I like the fact that there was space to add more or upgrade to at a later date if required. Moving forward, I like the cushion that was on. The side decks that way if you are fishing and especially if you hit a wave or whatever you're not going to bang your hip straight into the fiberglass you've got that extra protection and on the bow you've got plenty of storage here you've also got the option of having cushions down and turn it into a sun pad or you can keep it as it is and you've got standing room for fishing this one did have an 84 inch Roden trolling motor and that was a 36 volt trolling motor and again you can see we've got more self-draining storage options which can also double up as being fish holds. This one was also equipped with an anchor and an electric windlass, so it's definitely kitted out for both inshore and offshore fishing. There's also a jump seat in front of the console. There were additional cushions that came with this one, and as you can see there's a cooler underneath there. And if we look up overhead, you can see that the T-top is actually forward of the console, so it gives protection to that seat too. And if you want to spend all day on the water, especially if you've got young family on board, you'll appreciate the fact that this console's actually got a heads compartment built into it. And you can see those are the cushions for the bow, and also this gives you access to the wiring for the electronics. For a boat that measures 25 foot in length, we have beaming 9 feet, she's got 172 gallons. I think this is a very well equipped boat, and they're offering great value for money. I'm personally not surprised that it's been snapped up already. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and the subscribe button. And as always, I look forward to catching you on the next one. Thanks everyone.